Yeah, good afternoon, YouTube. Just wanted to uh, give you a little update on this spotlight I added for my bandsaw. And this is like one of the cases where it's really handy because I'm making this angled cut. I need to set the length off of this cut edge here. And it was always hard to figure out where the, the blade was actually going to come down on the part and so you had to kind of get over over the top and look down and then you had to line up the edge of the scale with the blade and then you try had to try to edit, line up a mark on this uh, bevel cut here so it was really hard to uh, get a good reading but now I have a nice shadow line right down the part so I just have to measure essentially from that cut edge to the shadow line so yeah that that works really good it's kind of like the uh, lighter boxes and such have uh, lasers built in that shine where the saw blade is going to go but this works pretty much the same because so, I know the uh, CFL bulb I had in there never really gave a shadow at all because the light was so diffuse there was really no um, no sharp shadow but boy that that works really well so yeah I'm happy with that light I think it's a nice uh, really nice uh, spotlight just like taking a felt pen and drawing a line on there so I thought it might be fun to do a time lapse of this cut so here we go I'll turn it on There we go, cut right down the shadow line, nice straight cut and the perfect size. So I just have a few more of these to do. That's a pretty handy little thing for a horizontal bandsaw. If you're looking for a shadow line where the blade's going to cut, set up a little LED spotlight and I'll show you how that is lined up here. So you can see right here I'm looking down the saw blade and if I just swing right up here should hit the light. So that's just a perfectly lined up spotlight there. So if I just swing straight down, I come right onto the blade. So that's how you have to set things up is get your light shining right down in line with the blade and then you get a nice crisp shadow line and it's lined right up with the axis of the saw cut. That is actually better than I hoped for. So if you uh, found that helpful, give the video a thumbs up. Questions in the comments section below. Subscribe to the channel for updates. And as always, thanks for watching.